guys and welcome to part 13 of our R2D2 tutorial here in Blender and we're going to be finishing off the head with the um, little eyes or um, video camera sockets and sensors which stick out the top there so there's three of them there's one at the front and there's going to be two at the rear so one up and one lower down and they're all basically the same we have different materials but they're all going to basically be the same so we'll model one object and We'll copy it around into these other places so there will be one positioned here in this gap there'll be another one positioned here and there'll be a final one which is positioned somewhere around this upper left area there um, so it's pretty easy to model it's going to be quite a short tutorial you probably will already be able to do it yourself anyway but just for the sake of completeness i'm going to include it so we'll start with a um, cylinder shape I'm going to go to our front view, drag this over here, we'll scale it down a little bit um, to about the diameter that we want our object to be, so it's probably going to be around this diameter around the base. And once we've done that, we will scale it on the z-axis down a little bit like so. I'll tab over into edit mode check back with the reference image so we've got this slightly domed area and then a, a, a tapered telescopic part coming out of there so we'll hit Z to go to wireframe and we'll select this top edge to start with so B for box select, select all those top edges. I'm going to extrude this out a little bit. We'll scale it in slightly. Extrude again, and we'll scale in again. And then we'll hit E to extrude and enter, and then S to scale to come in a little bit. And then we'll extrude outwards and hit S to scale. Come back out of wireframe mode. So this is about our shape. If we look at it there, and we have a ring around there, and then we're also going to have a recess there on the inside. Um, I'm just going to drag it down slightly. We'll add our ring. So we'll go to our tools, and we'll go to loop cuts. Place one here. And we'll place another one here and then we're going to want to select all those faces actually I'm just going to drag that up a little bit we'll select all of the faces inside of here so shift alt there S to scale at the moment we need to put in an extra loop cut above hold on so we have one here We'll put that quite tight, and we have to put in another one below. Back to our faces, select those S to scale, we scale that in a little bit. And we want to make sure that we have smooth shading turned on. I'm going to add a modifier to this, which will be a subdivision surface modifier that makes a bit of a mess of our object so um, I'll just turn that off for a moment tap back into edit mode face select we're going to delete this face and we'll delete this bottom face let's check out our subsurf modifier now looking a little bit better Okay, I want to make that edge there just a little sharper, so I'm going to select this edge. I'll go to Mesh, Edges, Mark Sharp, I get a loop cut. I'm going to put another one in above here. I'm going to put another one in below. I'm 
دوکس لو ببره اوکی نه وی انساید ایج سلیکت ویل گیت اول ایز ایجز نید تو اکسترود ایس تا سکیل برنگ ایس این سلیکتی Need to extrude, and we're going to extrude downwards. And we're going to want to um, fill this. So again, we'll hit E, enter, and scale. E enter and scale. E enter and scale. E enter and scale. And then we're going to make a edge and face there. I want to sharpen up this edge. So I'm going to select this edge here. Mesh edges. I'll mark that one sharp. I'll get my loop cuts again. We'll put this in quite tight. And there. Okay, now the same on the rim. So uh, we'll add a little bit more thickness to that. So again, we'll stick a loop cut in. Both sides just help to add some thickness to our top edge there. Okay, so that's basically done. Now we can position this. We're going to um, duplicate our object to start with. Because we're going to need three of these. The first one will be positioned over here. So we're going to go to a top view. We'll drag it approximately into position. And we're going to want to rotate it on the x-axis. So around 90 degrees to start with. And we'll rotate it on the z-axis. I'm going to turn on normal. So we can drag it into place. We'll rotate it again on the Z. Something like that. Okay, let's check back with the reference image. Yes, that does come straight out. So that looks okay. And I think I just want to scale this. A little bit on this axis, it sticks out a little bit too far, so I'm just going to scale it in. Okay, I'm going to scale these ones as well by about the same amount 0.749, I think. Head around, will do. Okay, now we'll position these at the back. So top view. The first one's going to sit around here. So again, we're going to want to rotate it on the x-axis. This time it will be minus 90. Rotate on the z-axis. We'll shift this into place. Like so. So I just leave one more. Which 
we're doing the same way. Top view. This one's going to point slightly upwards though. So this time when we rotate it, I'm going to rotate a little bit on the z-axis. And then we'll rotate it like so, like this. Drag it back. And move it up. So it needs to sit around the area of this blue square here. We'll rotate it back. So it's pointing upwards. Just got to get everything aligned. And then we'll move it outwards. Okay, that's looking good. So there is um, the lenses now added to our R2D2 head. So we're pretty much done with that. So now in the um, next tutorial, we're going to start working on the arm area. So we're going to model one arm. It'll be mirrored on the other side. So we only need to model one of them. And then we can finally move on to the bottom leg before going on to rendering and texturing.